complicated. Um, first of all, it starts a lot earlier than than what we were used to. I mean, I made my decision in like the spring of my senior year, and now, candidly, we've had a recruit that's now a freshman at Duke, uh, committed since his spring of his sophomore year. Uh, you know, he just wanted to go to Duke, and he said, "What what can we do to make it happen?" And I loved him as a player, and I said, "Well, let's let's make it happen." So. The women side of soccer is even crazier. They're getting commitments from ninth graders, eighth graders even, from what I hear, That's which is insane. It just complicates it and makes my job uh, a lot more tiresome because we're recruiting uh, seniors in the, f in the fall semester, we're recruiting juniors all year round, and now we're looking at sophomores coming out and tracking them and monitoring them and seeing how they progress. So. I mean, in so many ways, it's great because there's so many good players out there and, and so many great candidates. And but I think overall, it's uh, it's lifting the game, it's lift, raising the bar. And um, I know it's very. And uh, we had a question in the first session about how do parents handle all this. I mean, the world's changing. Everything's going now. You're focusing on certain things to make you become experts in that field whether it's science or law or medicine or s some sport that you're putting a lot of energy in because that's what you see and what you love and that's what you want to do going forward. So the bar has been raised by everyone in, in every environment and, uh, and we're sincerely trying to keep up and, and probably raise the bar ourselves. And you know, the athletes that we have here on, on this floor and, and in our school are, are remarkable. They, they amaze me every day with what they do. Their time commitment that they put in for everything they do is, is amazing. And I mentioned in the, in the first segment that our sport, we're trying to, within our coaching s coaches uh, community, elongate the season. So there's less stress on the kids during the year. So for example, we would like to have maybe 11 games in the fall and 10 in the spring. So there's no midweek games so they don't miss classes. And they can be normal students that don't get hurt as much and they have time to to really enjoy the experience. So that's what our community uh, is working on and, and uh, we keep evolving and trying to keep going and, and uh, it's exciting. It's, it's, uh, it's challenging, demanding, but really enjoyable. Mm -hmm.